Hey there guys, back with another unboxing. So, as you can see, I am missing the packaging on this guy. Because my stupid self uh, did the unboxing earlier. Um, however, I have not looked at the knife. I cut open the package and I bumped my little camera holder and I went to study the camera and realized that I didn't even hit record. So, I guess we're going to start from this point. So, um, a little bit about this knife. It is a steel will. Um, I have been looking at this knife for uh, quite some time, actually. Um, I've debated on buying it a few times, but uh, now decided to pull the trigger on it. Um, so, um, this knife also has a pretty interesting... Um, uh, how do I want to word this? Uh, deployment positioning of a deployment mechanism, I guess. Um, yeah, anyways, here, let's get into it. So, here's packaging. Nice little box, I guess. Here we go. What we got in here? Okay, little information. Sure, whatever this is. Congratulations on your purchase, blah, 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 little thank you note. So, here she is. So, what we got here? So, this is the Steel Will Fjord. So, as you can see, I don't know if you can see right off the bat, something looks a little bit uh, on the funny side. Y'all see it? Look, that. Look at that. Who the heck puts a thumb, th thumb stud up here? It is very strange. Um, yeah. After seeing this knife, I had to buy it just to try it. Um, I have tried steel wheel knives in the past, and I actually really do like them. They make fantastic stuff, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what this baby looks like. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, looking nice. Yeah, so the G10 feels really, yeah, it has a nice tactile feel, a little bit, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like milling, like a little bit of milling going on. There's a tiny bit, but it's enough to give you a nice little grip, actually. Feels pretty nice. Um, Pocket clip. Uh, <clears throat> you know, you never really know about pocket clips until you actually tried them. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I, I gotta give this a 48-hour test after today. Well, after I, actually, I'm doing the uh, video on the, um, on the Tygon tomorrow for my 48-hour review on it. And then this would be next in the pocket, uh, tomorrow afternoon. Um, anyway, um, so, just, just a little quick look at this guy. Um... Feels pretty smooth. Oops. Oh, yeah. The detent feels... Yeah, really nice detent on here. Yeah, I like that. Um, oh, this. The lock bar access. I mean, check that out. I mean, that is fantastic. And even got the jipping on top, too. Like, you can't ask for a better lock bar than that. I mean, lock bar access, I should say. I like the little fuller in here. That gives a nice look. Yeah, and it even goes on to the, the scale. That's super cool. That's a really cool look. A nice touch. I like that. That's super cool looking. Uh, this is made, uh, the blade is made out of D2. Um, I have mixed opinions about D2. Um, it would be nice to see something a little bit better on here. Um... <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's see here. Um, what, anything else? Oh, wow. Y'all see that little pivot there? Oh my gosh, what is that, like a T6? My goodness, tiny. Tiny little pivot screw. Yeah, wow. So, here, well, let's, let's get some quick measurements on this, just, just real fast. Um, the blade... 
I'm gonna say it's like three inches or so, roughly, right? Oh god. Yeah, the blade is almost dead on three inches. I mean, a three inch cutting edge, I should say. Cutting edge of three inches. Handle, we got four and a quarter. So that gives us, what's this called? Seven and a quarter for total length. In this video, check this out. I cut the scale this time. So the weight guy, I got to bump. I gotta get a different uh, camera thing. I keep bumping this, and the whole thing shakes like shakes like an earthquake. So, I mean, I'm gonna say like what, like I don't know, five ounces on this guy. Oh, wow, way off. Three point eight ounces. Felt a lot heavier. All right. So, um, I, I guess this is just you know just the first overall look, just unboxing. Um, the 48-hour video will be a lot more detailed. I'll go over probably every aspect and even maybe take it apart, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't decided yet. Um, a few things that I have kind of decided about this, this channel. I kind of want to, like, uh, excuse me, make this on knives that you really don't see on YouTube. You know, like... All these other content creators for knives <coughs> keep showing the same knife, <coughs> just different reviewer, over and over and over and over and over. And to be honest, I mean, once you see one or two videos, like, I don't know, you don't, uh, the, the other ones become irrelevant. I mean, you don't really need to watch it. It's just the same thing over and over. So what I was thinking is that I'm going to make my uh, channel about knives that you don't really hear about. Um, like the first one, that that, that, that Tigon, that Kaiser Tigon, or Tigon, however you pronounce it. Um, there's only been like three to three to five videos on it, and each one of them are three to five years old. So, um, so yeah, I think I want to put the channel in that direction. Um, uh, I did order some more knives. So, I will have some more unboxings coming. Um, two knives I am super, super excited about. There's some super cool knives. Uh, uh, two, uh, two different brands, too, that I have never uh, uh, tried out before. So, that should be exciting. Um, also, I want to give, like, a little shout-out to this here. This Gunny Guide, Gunny Glide Lubricant is freaking fantastic. I, I really like this stuff. I tried it on a few of my knives, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it works great. I really, really like this. We'll see how well it holds up over time. Um, I'm going to put it on this knife here before I start carrying it and flip it, and I'm going to compare it to uh, KPL, I guess, and Benchmade, a lubricant is what I have used before. So, um... So yeah, so I'm excited to test this more. So I guess that about does it for this video. Um, yeah, thanks for joining and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys.